Let's check in on Matt Schlapp. He's still around. I think there's at least two lawsuits now involving Matt Schlapp's alleged grabbing of a Herschel Walker campaign staffer's genitalia. Genitalia. Who is male. Uh, his, uh, yes, his penis, I guess you would say. And uh, while driving, uh, which of course is probably the least safe time to do it. Uh, Matt Schlapp now barred from Fox News. <laughs> Uh, maybe even a barred from uh, Newsmax. Newsmax, we don't know. Um, Had to head over to <laughs> the war room. <laughs> yeah, went over to the real America's Voice, the war room, and um, this is this is what you do. Uh, you've got to circle the wagons, as it were, both literally and figuratively. Match lap, of course, blame, blaming the Himself? liberal the liberal press oh. for all of this because. They all reported on the lawsuit filed by a conservative. There we go. Every news outlet is there. Although, Steve, I do want to break some news. We've decided to go a little bit Hungarian on the left wing. I don't call it press or media because they're not the left wing activists that like to think they're media. I don't know why we're letting them come into our house every year so they can beat the hell out of us and lie to us. So I'm not so sure we're going to do so much of that anymore. Uh, if you're a real journalist, OK, fine. But if you're a faux journalist who's just trying to go after people and attack people, I don't think you're constructive to the conversation. And I think the people, the millions of people in this country who just want to see us go back to some kind of constitutional norms um i think uh, it's important to be at cpac and 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 you talk about the people you get to run into every conservative talk show host every radio show all those tv shows you love to watch war room obviously front and center you're going to be able to participate in all of that will be in the right there in that big hallway and then you have the hub where every conservative group that's doing something good like the convention of states or pro-life groups or the nra or whatever your group or your issue of choice you can sign up and get active because I tell you, there's not a lot of time on the clock if we stay on the path we're on. I, you know what? I, here's my, um, here's the the thing that I really am hoping will happen at CPAC. Um, you know, like uh, those groypers, like that Nick Fuentes has like uh, got in on the um, uh, the the TPUSA and has protested. Why are you having? Um, you know, I hope that Nick Fuentes gets into CPAC and protests about match lap because a gay could, man speaking well the, he he could attack him for you know his allegedly grabbing the staff of a member of uh, herschel walker's staff sorry alleged gay man yes um and then of course the uh, how deliciously ironic <laughs> that nick fuentes would be doing that that would be also uh, just adding it's the spider-man meme of men that hate themselves indeed indeed yes that would be funny i think we should see that i wonder if there's a way is there can we do that on cameo can we sign up for something like that on cameo can I would we have them it. go and, and do that because i'll i'll pay i'm willing to pay for for somebody's member you know like a ticket into cpac if that's what it's going to take uh, I would do that. So did he say Hungarian there? Yeah. They're going to Victor Orban. Oh, oh, cool. So yeah. just just more authoritarian yeah. because yep. the press reported on uh, the very, very obvious news story about my sexual uh, assault, alleged sexual assault. Good. Majority report wardrobe coordinator. Someone should have told Matt Schlapp you can't drive stick from the passenger seat. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> Fizzy drinks. Schlapp grabbed a male staff member's a male's staff member. That's an old uh, John Stewart joke. Okay. Call from a nine one eight area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hey Sam, one moment. Let me get off my Bluetooth. Thank you. Uh, Dane from Tulsa. Dane from Tulsa. What's on your mind? Sam, um, I, I wanted to thank you for that uh, that video that we're seeing around on TikTok. It's really fantastic work you guys have done. What video is that? Oh, you know what? That was David Pakman. That was Pakman. My bad. 
<laughs> you see, you see the point here, Sam. You see the point I'm trying to make. I called him two two weeks ago, and I was telling you, Sam, you got to get on TikTok, and Mark got to get on TikTok. Dude. And you know what? I got the new app. I look at the app, and hey, what's there is a TikTok link to MR's TikTok account with nothing, no content. I even hey, had hey, people oh, come whoa, into whoa, my life. Whoa, life's. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, go whoa. ahead, go ahead. Whoa. Go ahead. All right, just slow down. Go ahead. Okay. Wheels of progress turn slowly. Mm. I'll have you know, I am staring at the person who I believe will be running our TikTok. Okay? Okay. That conversation's happening in a little while. Then we're, we are gearing That's up. Good. Okay? So the next time you call in, you're playing your little Pac-Man games. Mm-hmm. It's going to be over. <laughs> All right. You know who who brought that up to me though was also an MR fan on my live after I made that. I you know a couple people followed me, and somebody jumps in and they're like, "Hey, left is best." I'm like, "Hell yeah, left is best." And they're like, "Man, Sam really has to get on this because uh, I'm seeing a lot of packs, and he's just going to scoop up this, this young let me, audience." Let me, like, choir, let me tell you what I'm doing. The choir man. What I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I've watched David Packman steal my backdrop, mm. steal uh, <laughs> my more casual dress. Okay. And now I'm coming in, I'm going to steal his TikTok. That's what I'm doing. So. Yeah. I mean, I want to see it, man. I want to see it. Yeah. Well, um, you and, better you know, be passing just, it just, around on TikTok. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Share it. Well, it's not just the video, Sam. Remember, I'm also encouraging you to, to scratch that debate itch, man. You, you, your son came out and admitted to the audience that you have free time on your hands and maybe in 20 minute intervals that's not free. you can jump on that's tiktok throw the green <laughs> throw the green screen behind you so no one knows that someone's on the porcelain and you guess what you could have those those uh, libertarians and the anti-vaxxers and all that jump on in and try to talk to you i do like the idea of like there being a genre of my work known as like the the the, the toilet debates the bathroom debates the commo the i don't, I don't know <laughs> if i like that idea I don't, i'm not sure how well that would do but i'd like i it, the concept is interesting. but the fact that we're thinking about this we've got to match pacman's grind set like yeah. he really just he's well, he's all over it there there is the green screen option no one has to know what's going on in the background i've got a little background that just says like you know what i'm about and what i'm here to talk about no one has to know what's behind me no one has to know what i'm sitting on um all right <laughs> but other than that i just wanted to, i just wanted to poke a little fun but <laughs> i will tell you guys we were talking you guys were talking about uh covid vaccines and covid stuff last week and i'll tell you man i after doing my like six hour on friday night a lot of anti-vax stuff is coming back up actually matt leg shared a great um a great tweet from dr ian i can't remember his last name at the moment matt i think you know what i'm talking about that's so, not in that's not, not in but dr Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Dr. Ian Copeland did a, uh, he did a live on, on Twitter where he called out that guy, uh, Steve Kirsch, who's one of these yeah. guys that's like a billionaire that yeah. tries it. He's on this died suddenly dog. Oh, I'll pay a million dollars for him. But turns out he never pays money. And then when one guy really got into him saying, Hey, you do owe me this money. The guy like complained to his company and tried to get him fired. So he Kirsch is on there with Dr. Ian and Matt shares the tweet and says, hey, just it's a four hour long deal, but you only have to listen to the first 15 because Steve just gets annihilated. And it was, it was magical. I actually listened to two hours of it because I couldn't get enough of it. The guy gets so mad, he ends up leaving. They never kick him, he just leaves. Well, I think maybe so we'll uh, that's yeah, some good content. pull some clips from that. That might be worth uh, watching, but uh, appreciate the call. Hey, do you mind if I plug, plug my TikTok one more time? <laughs> It better be David Pakman. You really no, but he's learned from David Pakman. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, hey, I'm getting I'm getting MR out there. It's Indrid Cold dot twenty seven or Indrid dot twenty Indrid dot Cold twenty seven to TikTok. Hey, Sorry dude, about that. Are you seriously coming on to chastise me about my TikTok game and we let you uh, promote your uh, mm. TikTok channel and you don't even know what it is? Hey, hey, I, I'm, I'm try it one I'm a little more time. Try I'm on the one phone more here, time. So. Try, try okay. one more time. Cause the, Indrid, Indrid dot cold 27. Indrid dot cold 27. That really yes, sir. rolls off the tongue. It sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> Appreciate the call. <laughs> it's an old Mothman reference. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. 
Uh, Majority Report, Taylor Green, Sam's TikTok. The commodification of debate. Oh, God. <laughs> I need uh, to get a TikTok, but I'm just, it's overwhelming. It's a lot, yeah. a lot yeah. of social media all the time. The, I think the Warren Christmas uh, one, it does, does circulate, though, Sam. Your, your classic uh, Rudolph, oh, good. Rudolph clip. I love that one. Uh, we got more stuff to put on TikTok. Yeah.